Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And in this video, we're gonna talk about how we can switch between lock camera and free camera in the runtime. As you can see, if I click on free camera button, now my camera can move around. And my camera doesn't follow the actor. Now if I click on lock camera button, I can't move my camera around. And my camera follows the actor. To do this, first go into your character blueprint, select your spring arm and under the camera settings, select the first three options. Now compile and let's play. As you can see, we can move our camera around. Now let's uncheck the first two options from the camera settings. We will not uncheck the inherit here so that the camera can follow the actor horizontally. Now let's compile and play. As you can see we can't move the camera around. But the camera follows the actor. We need the same functionality but through clicking the buttons. So to do this go to your character blueprint and let's create a custom event. Now I am going to name this free camera. Now let's grab the spring arm and search for the set inherit here. Let's connect it to the event and set the boolean to true. Now search for the set inherit pitch and set the boolean to true. Now again search for the use pawn camera rotation and set the boolean to true now let's connect them all i am going to create one more custom event and let's name this lock camera let's copy and paste and connect all the references I am going to uncheck the inherit pitch and use pawn control rotation. As you can see I have already created a widget uh, with two buttons. So let's go to the graph panel and let's call event construct. Search for the set game pause to pause the game and check the pause boolean. Now let's get the reference to the character blueprint by casting to get all the event which we have created recently now let's promote it to the variable so that we can use it later now let's go to the graph panel and add the on click events for both the buttons After that, let's grab the reference and get it. Now let's search for the events, first for the free camera and connect it to the free camera button event. Now same for the lock camera, call the event and connect it to the lock camera event. Now compile, save and we are good to go. Let's test it. As you can see, I clicked on free camera and I can move the camera around. The camera doesn't follow us. Now let's lock the camera. As you can see, we can't move the camera around and the camera follows us. So that's all for this video. If this video helped you out, then do not forget to drop a like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. If you want to follow my Instagram page or join my Discord server or you want to try out my games then all the links are in the description below. Till then see you. Bye bye.